Dollar Hank, hello fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Constructible Wind Turbine mod, which is being made by user Zorkaz. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability to craft your very own gigantic freaking wind turbines as seen in Far Harbor. And these things are amazing i honestly completely forgot that these things existed it's been so long since i played far harbor that i thought it was pretty cool when i did see we could now have the ability to make these for our settlements they are just massive look great have the fun spinning animation as you know you hope a wind turbine would and of course do produce quite a large amount of electricity for your settlements which is always great to have plus it has an extra little feature we'll talk about in a moment but first let's talk about how you do get your hands on one of these things and first things first you are gonna need the far harbor dlc because of course that's where these come from. So without that DLC, you will not be able to install this mod. Now, once you do got the mod installed, you just need to go into your workshop mode, head on over to power, and in the generators category is where you'll find the wind turbine, which you can construct for <laughs> 350 steel. That is a lot of steel, but it'll produce 200 electricity for your settlement which i think is actually pretty balanced that much material to produce all that electricity that is pretty darn cool and yeah once you got it you just place it anywhere in the world well anywhere within your settlements at the very least and it is kind of a slightly harder thing to place there seems to be a lot of places where um it doesn't really like to be placed, and in fact, it would be preferable for you to be at an elevated position, I have found, for placing them. So, like, up here on my stage, I can quite easily place one of these on the floor down there, but if I'm actually on the floor... Oh boy! Oh boy, no. I have a very hard time. Eventually, with enough finagling, you can get it to function and place where you want it to be. But yeah, I've found that being at an elevated position does seem to help this thing out quite a bit. And even then, you know, there are a lot of places in the world where it just doesn't seem to want to go. So it is going to be a bit finicky to place, but once you do got it, ha oh boy, it's going to be great. It looks wonderful, produces a ton of electricity, and about that other feature it has that I mentioned a moment ago, it'll transmit all that power wirelessly. You no longer have to strewn wires about your entire place. You can place one of these in your settlement and it will radiate the power throughout the entirety. Now, I don't know if there is a proper range to it as it isn't mentioned in the mod, but I played around with a few settlements with placing them in different areas and I've had no issue getting power to whatever is needed. So for instance, if we actually do a place down, say a couple of lights, I've got no wiring nearby this and if I place that light there, well, boom, that is a light and that is a light that is on. Which actually, you know what, might be good to make it a later in the day so those are a bit more uh visible with the light yeah, let's make it even darker there we go let's go to 20 there we go 8 p.m lovely see there we go nice and lit up if we go on over here similarly i've got no wiring nearby the nearest wiring is over at the shooting gallery and uh yeah if i place that right there boom we got power to it that light is on and similarly again no wiring back here and boom, we got lights. Oh, actually, I do have wiring a little bit close by, but still, that shouldn't be close enough for it to actually get stuff from those lines back there. And again, we can just place this right over here. Boom, we got light. So yeah, it not only produces a ton of power at, again, 200, but will actually transmit that power everywhere without you having to worry about messy wiring all over the place. Which is um, pretty great for me, considering my history of not doing that great of wiring around the place and using far more things than I actually need for that wiring. But yeah, overall, it's just a great, gigantic wind turbine to help you produce a lot of power. And I'll admit, at first I thought it might be a little bit overpowered between the wireless transmission and the large amount of power. 
but 350 steel is quite a bit. So it's not like you're going to be building a load of these things all over the place. You'll have one every couple of settlements, perhaps, unless you've got one heck of a means of getting crap loads of steel. But, uh, yeah, that's really all there is to talk about with this mod. It's just a lovely thing to give you those gigantic wind turbines from Far Harbor. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you have enjoyed You come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.